PBS is inviting viewers to buckle up for a cross-country journey along historic Route 66 in a new three-part documentary series, The Great Muslim American Road Trip. I got the chance to learn more. You guys have got to check this out. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on Show Me St. Louis. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Thanks for having us on. And so I know there's a, a nice project in the works here going on. And so can you guys just fill us in? We have a show coming out on PBS. It airs um, July 5th and then every following Tuesday for three weeks. And it's called The Great Muslim American Road Trip. And it follows us from Chicago all the way to the Santa Monica Pier all along Route 66. And we do make a stop in St. Louis. Hey, we love to hear that. Where's the stop at or do we have to watch? We uh, we had amazing. First of all, we ate amazing, amazing food in St. Louis. And we spent a day at the Gerbic restaurant uh, with a very beautiful, generous family from the former Yugoslavian region of Europe who came over in the early 90s and became pillars of their community, welcoming refugees. Uh, and they rebuilt a restaurant um, from the ground up and serve some of the best food we'd ever had. And we get to hear a little bit about their story, which is filled with triumph and also tragedy um, and generosity. So I have to give a shout out to the Gerbic family and that amazing restaurant in St. Louis. One of many amazing meals we had in St. <laughs> Louis. And I know Route 66 is a uh, pretty famous, you know, highway, um, you know, taking a lot of travelers to and from amazing places. And so um, you've already mentioned St. Louis, you know, being a great place to eat. Uh, what were some other, you know, key highlights, um, you know, along this route? You know, when you're on a road trip, sometimes there's detours and whatnot. So we ended up in Las Vegas and right off the strip, you would never know it was there is this incredible um, community called the Muslim Village. And man, I was just so inspired uh, when we visited them. They are really walking in so much light and really living up to the, the name Muslim. And I mean that in the way of their service, their level of service to their community, their neighborhood is, is at such a high and excellent level that it just inspired me to, to no end. Um, this woman, Mama Nisa, she saw a need in her community, went into her own pocket, went to the grocery store, bought fresh fruits and vegetables, and just gave it away for free. And around that simple practice, an entire community grew where they now have a mosque, a community center, a library, job trainings, um, and so much more. And, you know, I felt like we could have done an entire show just about that community. Um, we walked away so inspired uh, by all the people we met. But um, yeah, that was definitely a highlight. How did this route become, you know, the, the focal point of, you know, this series? You know, the whole thing started off pretty innocently. It really started uh, with this idea that we could take the second honeymoon together. Mona's mom was gracious enough to take our two boys. Um, and we had this gift of time of three and a half weeks together. And we wanted to travel in a part of the country we knew very little about, the heartland and the American West. Um, and that was our initial idea and what blossomed was something so much bigger and more beautiful and frankly more interesting kind of just become came this unexpected learning for us uh, we got to learn from scholars and historians who pushed our conception of muslim history further and further and further back in time um, so viewers really get to learn alongside and with mona and i because we became students really of the road tuesday the fifth is is the, uh, you know, the start of all of this. And so, um, you know, what should viewers expect? And if you had like a quick elevator pitch to say, you need to watch this, what would you guys say? If you're interested in real human stories, uh, this is a show for you. And, um, you know, I think we're a little biased. We, we think it is pretty cute and it's a, it's a sweet show, but you, you'll learn a lot like we did. Um, and we kind of get to be this lens for other people to be human. And, um, you know, that really was an unexpected gift that we got at every stop with these human heart to heart, soul to soul, hand to hand uh, connections. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show. And we are looking forward to uh, watching this amazing series. The Great Muslim American Road Trip premieres tomorrow, July 5th at 9 p.m. Central Time on PBS, and that's pbs.org and the PBS video app.